You're listening to Tony and Juan, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday brunch edition on 1350 WNLK. This is Tone Hardy alongside the legendary Juan Kuhn, and you are on the maiden voyage of our no show, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday brunch edition on 1350 WNLK. This week's show features the music of Miles Davis, George Duke, Norman Brown, and Kirk Whalem. We're also excited to have award-winning violinist Eric Stanley on the show, and we will interview him during the third segment. Without further ado, let's get things started with jazz pioneer and Grammy Award-winning trumpet player Miles Davis performing Michael Jackson's Human Nature.
That was Everett Hart performing Marvin Gaye's Mercy, Mercy Me. And before that, Breezin' by the great George Benson. Stay tuned, because after our commercial break, we will have George Duke, Brian Culberson, and Najee. You're listening to Tony and Juan, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday Brunch Edition on 1350 WNLK. Hey, I'm Eric Stan Lee. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired. Stay inspired. Hey guys, Eric Stanley right here. I'm coming to Norwalk, Connecticut on the 22nd of April. I'm bringing my violin. It's going to be something new and fresh. The venue is Miracle Temple Fellowship Hall and it starts at 12.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at ericstanleyworldwide.com. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired. Stay inspired. Eric Stanley Life Tour. We have 
You're listening to Tony and Juan, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday brunch edition on 1350 WNLK.
That was Najee performing the Stevie Wonder classic, Sir Duke. After the next commercial break, we are blessed with the presence of award-winning violinist Eric Stanley. You're listening to Tony and Juan, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday brunch edition on 1350 WNLK. Hey, I'm Eric Stan Lee. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired. Stay inspired. Hey guys, Eric Stanley right here. I'm coming to Norwalk, Connecticut on the 22nd of April. I'm bringing my violin. It's going to be something new and fresh. The venue is Miracle Temple Fellowship Hall and it starts at 1230 p.m. Purchase tickets at ericstanleyworldwide.com. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired, stay inspired. Eric Stanley Life Tour. You've been listening to Jazz on Ice. I'm Tony Hardy with my co-host DJ Juan Kuhn. And at this point in our show, we have a very, very special guest. Our first guest on our program, uh, award-winning violinist Eric Stanley. Eric, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for making time out of your busy tour schedule to be on our show this morning. We really appreciate that. Um, hey, no problem. I, I've, been, I've been amazed with your music since I first heard it at uh, Spark Sports Grill in Norwalk a couple of years ago. And I've always wondered, and I'm glad I get the chance to finally ask you, when and why did you start playing the violin? You know, I started playing the violin when I was about 11 years old. That's when my interest peaked. Uh, a, couple of, a couple of teachers from my middle school came to my elementary school and showed us a, a bunch of different instruments like the cello, uh, the viola, the piano, drums. And I, just, I just really clicked with the violin. But uh, growing up, I grew up in, um, in Chesapeake, in Richmond, so I would frequently drive back and forth, um, living with my grandma uh, in Chesapeake, and I would see different violinists like uh, uh, no, not no Pointer, but I grew up listening to Noel Pointer, uh, Jean Luc Ponty, uh, Boy Tentley. Uh, there was another violinist from Portsmouth, uh, Regina Carter. And also uh, Eric Taylor. He's a jazz gospel violinist. That's outstanding. Now, do you play any other instruments or just the violin? Yes, I play the cello, viola. Also, I play piano, too. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. Now, you mentioned you come from a musical family. What are their musical interests and abilities? My, my dad, uh, he plays the drums. So he's got a back home. He has a full drum set upstairs <laughs> in his house. And uh, my mom, she has a piano. And we used to always play the piano growing up. And we would open up the hymn book, and my mom would be like, "Hey, try to play this song." And so it was always like, you know, it was a challenge for all of my siblings to try to play. And my brother was. He really excelled at playing the piano. He probably got the most musical ability with uh, playing piano in the family. Outstanding. So we can see the, the definitely the, the environment in which you were raised is a tremendous uh, uh, contribution to your growth as a, as a person and a musician. Now, we open our show today with Miles Davis uh, doing a rendition of uh, Michael Jackson's uh, song, uh, Human Nature. And you mentioned in your bio that Miles Davis was one of your influences. How did Miles Davis influence you? Oh, my goodness. Miles Davis, uh, he, he's one of those guys that, you know, obviously we have, you know, YouTube, and I was able to, YouTube came around 2000, 2006, and people started uploading videos, right? Yeah. And Miles Davis, the way he performed, you could tell that he truly enjoyed performing for his audience. And he he obviously he wanted to play music that he wanted to play, right? But he still wanted people to to enjoy the essence of what jazz what jazz is. And my favorite piece by Miles is uh Flamenco Sketches uh from It's Kinda Blue. And it's just man 
man, it's, it's so simple, but yeah, I know you just yet so powerful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great. Any uh, are there any other artists who influenced you? Uh, yes, um, the Neptunes uh, producer duo from Virginia Beach, uh, uh, which was uh, Chad Hugo and Pharrell Williams. And Missy Elliott. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot of great, great musical. Well, that, that's quite a, quite a cross section of musical talent, and you can see it in your in your music. You cover every genre, which I think is amazing. Um, yeah. Great. Now I noticed you've been performing uh, recently in public schools. Um, can you describe those occasions and what is your purpose? Why why are you doing that? Well, how how that started was back when I was 16 years old, I was playing in the orchestra, and I was also playing varsity basketball. So, obviously, you know, I wanted to shoot hoops, I wanted to play ball. So, my, teach, my orchestra teacher offered me, um, it was kind of like, I can get a grade if I go to one of her other schools, her younger kids, like in elementary schools, and play for them, play some songs for them. So instead of getting like a zero, right, and not just showing up for the orchestra <laughs> concert, she <laughs> she let me go to her other school and play. And so when I got to college, you know, I, I did the same thing because I was – still trying to play basketball and do the early morning workouts and I was uh, preparing to try out for the team and stuff and so my teacher did the same thing he was like look you can come to my wife he was like my wife teaches at at middle school you can go there and play and I just I just I, I started to enjoy it and I started to make that part of my a part of my um, my music you know just giving back and not forgetting the kids because I was once that kid who thought he wasn't good at anything you know and until I saw somebody else come along and tell me that I could do it too I was really stuck you know I was kind of the kid that just floated around uh, early grade school well, that's outstanding. I, li- I love the fact that you're using your, your talent and your ability to inspire others to give back to your community. It's, it's very exciting. So as I mentioned at the outset of our interview, you're on tour right now. Your, your tour is called Life Tour 2017. Mm-hmm. What, what's behind the meaning of that theme, Life Tour? You know, I, I got to the point where I had been playing violin professionally for about six years. Um, I had my first paid performance back in 2010 uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. It was for it was for a company, a uh, credit card company. And uh, last year, I started planning for this tour, and I was like, I think it's time. I think I'm spiritually, mentally, physically ready to go out and share with people what I've learned throughout my life. And I feel like I can be a value to somebody else right now. So that's why I named the Life Tour. Just to give back to people, give back and show people what I've learned. Um, That music is not about uh, trying to be flashy for somebody else, but it's more so trying to inspire something, trying to spark something in someone else um, so that they can go help others. That's, a, that's fantastic. Eric, I'm really excited about your upcoming life tour. When will you be moving through the Tri-State area? Oh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to be playing violin in Norwalk, Connecticut, on April the 22nd. And it's going to be at Miracle Temple Fellowship Hall at 1230. And also, I got another one on July the 8th. That's going to be in New York City at Suite 36. That's the venue, Suite 36. And that's going to be at 7. 
p.m. and you can get those tickets um, on my website ericstanleyworldwide.com yeah great so uh, make sure we, we hit up ericstanleyworldwide.com for those tickets um, to this amazing performance Eric Stanley's Life Tour 2017 thank you um, Eric, final question. What advice would you give other artists who wish to pursue their passion in music? The best advice I would give is strive to be better than you were yesterday. Because trying to be better than someone else is a pure waste of time. Outstanding. Eric, thank you for making time to be with us on Jazz on Ice, the Sunday brunch edition of our show. Good luck and God bless on your tour. And we look forward to seeing you here in Norwalk on April 22nd. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, yes. Look forward to seeing you in, in, again, young man. Good luck. All right, thank you. And now we're going to listen to Eric Stanley's awesome rendition of Amazing Grace.
I'm Eric Stan Lee. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired. Stay inspired. Hey guys, Eric Stanley right here. I'm coming to Norwalk, Connecticut on the 22nd of April. I'm bringing my violin. It's going to be something new and fresh. The venue is Miracle Temple Fellowship Hall and it starts at 12.30 p.m. Purchase tickets at ericstanleyworldwide.com. You're listening to Jazz on Ice featuring Juan and Tone on 1350 WNLK. Get inspired. Stay inspired. Eric Stanley Life Tour. It was so awesome to have Eric Stanley in the in the studio talking with us. Now we'll begin segment four. We have Norman Brown, Kirk William, Rick Braun doing Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson.
listening to Kirk Whalen performing I'll Take You There. We want to thank all of you for listening to our show today. A special thank you to Eric Stanley for being a guest on our show, our very first guest. Be sure to listen to our show next week to learn how you can win free tickets to Eric's performance in Norwalk, Connecticut in April of this year. Next week, we'll have music from Grover Washington Jr., Wayman Tisdale, George Howard, and Joe Sample. And our special guest will be Connecticut's own multi-talented Rasan Langley of the Rasan Langley Project. You've been listening to Tony and Juan, Jazz on Ice, the Sunday Brunch Edition on 1350 WNLK. Until next week, peace, love, and 